Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMadeVince.com and in this video today it's going to be a how-to video. It's going to be how to change the drive belt on this little DVD optical drive here. Really, really cheap. Got this delivered from eBay for 99p and this is the one here. So we're going to try to do it while everything's in situ so it's hopefully going to be nice and quick. Now to do it this way it's going to be a little bit fiddly but we're just going to use some tweezers to get in there. So first things first, let's eject it and now we're going to shut the computer down and then this tray will stay out and we have access then to the rubber drive belt there. So we're just turning off the PC now. and hopefully we'll be able to take this old one out. Now you might recognize this PC, I've already done a try to fix video on this DVD drive here and it turns out the problem was the belt but what we did is we popped it in a pan of boiling water for a little while and it shrunk it back to size and it's been working fine ever since but for 99p it was just good practice to buy another one. So, and you do need to know the size of your belt so we had this all apart before so we could measure it but what you can do is you can take it out and then you can physically measure it like this. Now bearing in mind it might be slightly bigger than what it was originally so pop it in a bit of boiling water, shrink it back to size or for 99p you can just buy a couple of them, maybe get it one millimeter smaller than you think you need. Okay so now we get the new one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it around the big one to begin with and then give it a little tug and then hopefully it will, uh, it's a bit fiddly There you go, can you see I've got that now, so it took a little bit of work. And now just placing it around this one here, like so. And now, when we turn the computer back on, that should work again now. And we haven't had to really take anything apart, have we? Well, let's pop the computer back on and see if it works. There we go. I'm going to eject it one time. Lovely job, nice and easy. So as you can see, if you just have some fine tweezers, it's a very easy job to do yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.